Today we are going to talk about World War One, or as I like to call it, the Great War. A lot of people don't know about this war because it was shattered by both World War II and the American Civil War. However, there's still much fun to be had as we discuss one of the largest wars of all time, which in turn would result in all of the countries who were participating to have a serious drop in population and equity. Ooh, how did the war start? I would be happy to explain that for those of you who don't know. It all started when this guy, Gavrilo Princip, killed Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary. I'm sure you're wondering why he wanted to kill him. And I would be happy to tell you. You see, Gavrilo Princip came from Serbia, which was under the control of Austria-Hungary. He wanted Serbia to be free from Austria-Hungary's rule. So in a not well thought out plan, he killed him. Just for the record, Serbia is here and Austria-Hungary is here. So, naturally, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. What a lot of people don't understand is, why was Serbia the good guy in this scenario? Well, as it turns out, Serbia didn't even know about this assassination plan. It was actually carried out by a terrorist organization called the Black Hand, and the Serbian government had nothing to do with it. Unfortunately for Serbia, however, Germany declared war on them, backing up its ally, Austria-Hungary, shortly after they declared war on Austria-Hungary. And it went on and on until eventually you had the allies composed of mainly England, France, and Russia against the central powers. Most importantly, Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Now, as I'm sure you're wondering, when did the United States come into this? Now, the United States wouldn't join until much later in the war, but we'll get to that later. Now, some important things to know are that people at this time felt a high sense of nationalism that urged to show your support for your country. There was also imperialism, which basically meant the desire to conquer and take control of other countries, as well as many countries, most of the countries actually in this war, wanted to show their military strength. It's the early 1900s. We have great technology, new technology. We're dying to use it on the battlefield. This'll be over in no time. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Yes, although there was a lot of new technology during this time, pretty much every country on both sides had it. That meant machine guns, poisonous gas, eventually tanks, and many, many, many other forms of warfare, including aviation. Now, that being said, this war would not last just a few weeks, but uh, almost five years, seeing as, although it ended in 1918, fighting still continued and there were cleanup efforts in 1919. So let's just set our timer for that long. We can wait it out, don't you think? Now, most men were eager to get to the front lines during the war. They thought it would be a great and adventurous experience from their dull, boring, typical lives. However, for most of them, it ended up being the worst experience of their life. Yeah, not a smart decision, was it, to just run in there in war. Now, if you were alive at this time, there were two things you could do. You could explore the Arctic with Ernest Shackleton, get stuck in ice, and not make it back for a number of years. Or you could join the other eager civilians and be stuck in the mud and trenches of World War I. Neither of which are great options. Now, skipping ahead to 1918, I'm sure you've noticed this poster, which I made to represent the fact that whenever a war ends and the soldiers come home thinking that they've just saved their next generation, that's not the case. The next generation will just end up fighting some other war. The American Civil War, Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, Korean War and Vietnam, Iraq and Afghanistan. Unfortunately, it just doesn't end. Wars will pause, but they will never stop. That is an unfortunate fact of human life at this point. If you point. want to learn more about the Great War and its horrifying endeavors, please do consider watching my next video. Have a nice day.